Hello everyone and welcome in this very short webinar concerning activated carbon lifetime. In this very quick example, we will check that some information given by our supplier is correct. For example, our supplier told us that in our current situation for our system in our adsorption column, our adsorbent has to be replaced each seven days. So we will check using Prosim DAC, Prosim DAC, that this information is correct. So to begin, we will see that in this system we only have two components, dichloromethane and nitrogen. Concerning the inlet of this adsorption column, we have these two composition in dichloromethane and nitrogen. We have a little bit less than one kilomole per hour of uh, molar flow rate, total molar flow rate. In terms of temperature and pressures, we can say that we are at ambient values. Then concerning the adsorption column by itself, I will open it to see all the details. I won't go through uh, all the settings and all the parameters of this adsorption column because we want this webinar to be very quick. So, concerning the uh, column, it's a length rise column that is 3 meters long with a diameter of 1 meter. We set here all the parameters concerning the adsorbent, of course. Concerning the compounds here, we have only two compounds and we will uh, assume that nitrogen is not adsorbed at all in this, uh, in this system, in, the, in this example, and dichloromethane is uh, modeled using a Langmuir uh, adsorption isotherm. Of course, because only adsorption is important for us here, we will all only see the ads adsorption sequence of the problem. So here the uh, simulation is set to go for 9 days, so I am really sorry but when I will launch the simulation you will have to wait some time <laughs> to have the results. So let's uh, launch the simulation to see what will be the results. And that's it the simulation, the nine days simulation uh, is done. Everything is in green, so the calculation went well. And now we will check the information, mostly the duration of this uh, adsorbent, the lifetime of this adsorbent, to check if the seven days um, told by our supplier is, uh, is good enough for this uh, system. So I will open the adsorption column module and check in the Profiles tab the most interesting uh, profile here, which is the breakthrough curves. So here in full screen we have the breakthrough curve of the dichloromethane going up over time. Here the end of the simulation is at the 9 day limit and if we take usually the 10% of breakthrough as a limit, uh, a security limit in the uh, in, in the adsorbent, we can see here the 10% here. So it will be around 11,500 minutes. We can check using the values here. So in the dichloromethane uh, column we are here passing the 10% uh, value so at 11,640 uh, uh, minutes which is uh, approximately uh, 8 days so it's a little bit more than 8 days meaning that um, we can extend the lifetime of this uh, adsorbent by one day 
so going from seven days to eight days which is a 14 percent uh, extension so potentially a 14 percent economy on the um, adsorbent lifetime so this was a very very quick example and a very short calculation of some basic results concerning adsorption just to uh, show you um, what we could do to solve some um, pragmatic problems with Frosim DAC. So thank you everyone for watching and uh, if you have any question or comment I will be glad to answer and I wish you a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.